Katina and Elijah might gonna be good TV. Yes, Michael in this right bachelor right. pad. Jasmine is my best friend. Chris oh, thinks he's so <laughs> weird. Mark, where you mean? Katina's already coming in at a disadvantage. Michael, where you from? Elijah, what did you do in those two years? Steve seems like he has a bit of douche in him. Mark is a romantic. Katina, you so beautiful. I thought that man was a Nigerian prince. He was definitely a Boston bro. We like Claire. So uh, I'm worried. I made it do what it do. Coming in at three o'clock in the morning again, huh? Just playing. <laughs> I'm grown. Uh oh. That's not the woman for you. Is she an act of service? I don't think they're gonna make it. I am talking to you. Yes. Shorty has to be invested some way, somehow. Tell me you don't get excited for Bubbles too. Take it down now. I hope you find love, but I hope you're not a douche. The biracial boy. I'm saving him and my phone is telling me. Who put these two together? So many gaps in these stories. You heard it here. Good luck with all my other predictions. Y'all, it's me. Do you know how hard it was for me to keep that a secret? First of all, <laughs> shout to my loyal subscribers. Y'all are the reason I got that, honestly. I mean, look, producers only can go so far. Like, producers follow me for a little bit. If you guys didn't see, I posted on my Instagram, but like, producers follow me for a little bit. You know, it was a little key can on the side. Nothing really came of it. I've been doing this for like mad seasons at this point since Keith and Iris season. So what is that, season nine? So I've been at this, you know what I'm saying? We've grown, the audience has grown. We moved over to YouTube, like things have been popping. But it's because of y'all, honestly. All the comments, all the subscriptions, all the follows, that that even happened. Ugh. If you here again, welcome back sis. And bro, because I know there's some guys who follow me too. If this is your first time, welcome. Welcome to season 14 with me, your girl Rizzo of From Rizzo with Love. If you have not seen the special, make sure you go over there and watch the matchmaking special. If this is your first time here and you all know who the hell I am, welcome. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe throughout the entire season. Y'all, we're going to do this again. Also, if this is your first time, let me point out the rules. One, I tear up a lot. There's no reason I should be this committed to people I don't know. I get it, but I am. And the reason you're here is because you're just as committed. I love love. I want to see these people ultimately fall in love. I love the little drama in the middle, but at the end of the day, the second half of the season, I need y'all to be in love. I need y'all to be having consistent sex. I need there to be little flirting. I need a lot of like New Orleans love. You know how good that season was? We haven't had that in a while, y'all. That's what I'm missing. The drama is cute, but we don't need that all the time. I'm gonna get to the season, I promise y'all. <laughs> Two, there are no spoilers. There are many sites for that. I actually follow some. But I have to mute them throughout the season because I don't like like knowing spoilers. And I love when they post spoilers. We actually had this conversation. I love that they say, hey, a spoiler is about to come. But this here page is not for that. We don't do any spoilers. We watch this show together as the weeks go on. Rule number 75. If you have not seen me post, do not DM me about what happened in this episode because likely I have not watched yet. If you have not seen me post, do not send me side stuff. Y'all also, I'm not on Reddit yet. I heard they're a little crazy over there and people have been telling me to put my recaps up over there, but it's, it's a lot. Rule number 77, I don't snitch. I am talking to you, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you. Don't worry, we have an unofficial DM NDA between the both of us. It's a mutual NDA. So. If you say something to me, trust I'm not going to say anything back. If I say something to you, I need to trust that you're not going to say anything back, okay? To who it may concern, I think it's whom. <laughs> also, I don't know how to use who and whom. <laughs> Please don't leave. All right, y'all. Are we about to do this? Because I'm super excited. Oh, God, I'm so excited to have so many like new people here. Y'all, loyal, loyal, loyal folks. I will remember you. Please don't change y'all pictures or your names. It confuses the because I don't really know y'all but I know you by your picture and your name so when you change it I'm like wait a minute that's Aubrey from season 11 but her picture is totally shade of J you know so <laughs> I need y'all to be consistent at least through the season if it changes please let me know okay all right y'all without further ado we got this matchmaking so I already feel a certain way about some people but I also want to clear something up 
I want to go back on what I said about Elijah Wan and oh girl. It also takes me a while to figure out people's names. I don't think they're going to be the first people to have sex. Let me tell you why. If this girl still lives at home and she doesn't bring men over and if she does interact with men, she goes over there. That means she has a level of respect for her mother that I don't think she's going to disrespect her on TV and have sex with this man so quickly. I think her mother is like, <laughs> oh yeah, you over there coming in at three o'clock in the morning again, huh? Paying no bills in this house. Okay. There your little hussy ass goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, she don't want to disrespect her mother. I know her mother has said to her, look, when you get on this show, realize you represent me. You represent this family. Do not do anything crazy. And of how gorgeous she is, she could just be having sex with anybody she wants. But that's not her style. Because of that, I'm going to say they're not going to be the first couple to have sex. You heard it here. Good luck with all my other predictions. All right, y'all, if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You here for the long haul. Like, let, let's do this. And announce yourself in the comments because I need to know who you are. Because when I see your face, I'm going to be like, wait a minute. Who, who is that? You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not Kendra? No. Like, who is this? Okay? So announce yourselves if you think you're going to be active or commenting a lot. And let me know what you think about this season so far. No spoilers. You will get blocked. All right, let's go. Mock the shock. Did y'all just see Elijah Wan crying? We about to have a whole nother crier. Katina, that's her name. Are we gonna see Shawnice and Jeffy this season? I need them. Lindsay and Mark, let's go. Mr. Okay. Wicked Committee. Did y'all see young Mark the Shark? He was definitely a Boston bro. Can I make a confession too? Boston is in my favorite place. I wish it was more inviting. No? Is it just, it's just me? He said if I'm with you for six to eight months, we should be getting a place. How old is this man? Oh, because he's old. I don't know. That's how he got in his predicament in the first place. What does it say about a man if he has cats? I feel like dog is so mask. Actually, dog is like universal. Universal. But like cat is definitely feminine. You never hear of, oh, that's the cat man. No, that's the cat lady. And the connotations behind cat lady are not great. This man got mad cat. How do I feel? That. I feel like that's weird. I'm gonna just say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at baby Mark the Shark. I feel you, Mark the Shark. As you get older, like that that holiday, the way you spent holidays as a kid, it goes away as like the elders. I want to say it like die out. They expect you to have your own family, your own kids to like continue those traditions. But Mark, you're lonely. What are you gonna exchange gifts and bring the cats over? Oh my God. I'm gonna in five weeks. Oh my goodness, Mark the Shark. Yeah, yeah he's taking care of his grandma and his is mom. Uh, yeah. Mark is a romantic. He's like, I want to watch Lifetime. Usually when people do that, it's this side that they wink to, but <laughs> I, made, I made it do what it do. He just wants to watch Lifetime Christmas movies with hot chocolate, with his woman here, and petting his cats on the other side. I get it, Mark. I hope you find love, but I hope you're not a douche. That's sad. Mark's mom isn't even gonna be able to be there. He said because she's declined physically and he feels like she would be embarrassed. So I, first of all, <laughs> first of all, that's sad. Second of all, I love that Mark even thought about that. Like that just shows how compassionate he is. I don't mean to say this, but I will say. People's relationship with their parents really say a lot about them. But I don't want to blame siblings, I'm siblings. I don't want to blame children for negative parental behavior. But when they do have those positive relationships, it's nice to see. Uh, Mark, if she's not dealing with you taking care of your mother, we know what you should do. Get the fuck out. That's not the woman for you. If you're that kind of woman, you need not. Mm -mm, we don't like you. It's, what's her name? Lindsay? What's this girl's name? You better not be like that, okay? Even though I think she's very like compassionate and understanding and wants to be with someone, I do want to make sure, hmm, how do we deal with this? This is why people say they don't like to date people with children because the children, the child will always come first. They will always have to give any extra money they have will go to the child. Any extra time they have will go to the child. Now, let me tell you right now, fellas. <laughs> There's a place for you here. I don't give a shit about that, okay? But same thing that goes with Mark. If he has free time, is he gonna say, no, I can't spend it with you. I gotta go see my mom. Or no, we, our situation, no matter how they are financially, but like my money, our money needs to pour into my mother, my grandmother, their aid. Like 
that's dicey you're asking someone to sign up for that with you it's not like yo we're do now doing 50 50 because at the end of the day that's your mother this is how you decided to care for her all that good stuff but it's going to be like 75 25 like shorty has to be invested some way somehow and i think i want to say that's a lot to ask but that is going to be an interesting ask from someone married at first sight i'm i'm very curious to see we'll probably see that what in the honeymoon the the night of the wedding probably in like two more episodes three episodes at this point oh lindsay that's her name see i was right i know we're probably looking at lindsay like sis what are you doing playing with a bubble machine but this is a safe space guys tell me everybody who has kids and nephews tell me you don't get excited for bubbles too you don't run around and go and tap them like the little kids and you don't you're not like oh my goodness but bubbles make everyone happy right <laughs> should i did I, I just, I just told myself, okay, just playing. <laughs> I'm grown. Who does that? I'm grown. <laughs> Wait, she said, book a random flight and I'll jump out of a plane with you. But I also like to go to bed at 930 and I don't like caffeine. Emily, have you entered the chat? Y'all, I need these details. I need the details as to why this man called off this wedding in five days before. Five days? That wasn't something new. He's been thinking of, oh my goodness. Let me not say that because it only took me a little two weeks. I'm still not over it. My blood type is B positive and that's my way of life. Lindsay, let's reserve the dad jokes for Mark the Shark, okay? Did y'all hear that? She said I'm a caretaker at heart. Mark the Shark caretaker. Maybe she's gonna find joy in taking care of his mom and like doing something for him. Is she an acts of service? No, she's a physical touch. But hmm, could this work? She hasn't seen her mom in three years, basically hasn't spoken to her verbally. She texts her. I wonder if she's gonna find joy in taking care of this mother because it'll be her new mother figure and she's gonna really want it. Oh my goodness. Who put these two together? Which expert did this? This is amazing. Uh oh, Lindsay has a strong personality, which we knew, but the way that her brother and her father were talking about her, is she gonna be mean to Mr. Mark? She's gonna have moments where she's mean to him. I don't like that already. Mark, I want to see how you act when she's mean to you because it can go bad really quickly. She don't really mean it. That's just her extraness. She gotta go to therapy. Dr. Viviana will work on that. But if you say some hurtful things, those are gonna last forever. Cause you know she's a crier. And we see Mark the Shark looking like a bro. He looked like a mean bro when his, in his like teenage years. Mark, were you mean? Were you a frat boy? You were a frat boy, I'll be. <laughs> Man, I hope they don't have like a bad, bad situation. Cause they could work. First of all, pass the cow, we see you with a new background. Okay, that's one. Two. I like what they said. Lindsay's gonna bring this joy that Mark needs because so much of his life is spent taking care of other people and it's just like a stress and a weight. She'll bring some joy to him that he needs. I like that. Okay, the next couple is Katina and Elijah Wan. Now listen, I thought that man was a Nigerian prince. I thought his name was like Ola Jawan. But when I saw how light skinny he was, I should have realized he just named after Hakeem. Come on. He's just a regular black American man. I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's get to it. Katina, you're so beautiful. You better be beautiful in here, too. I ain't playing with y'all. A lot of hair, too. And he's Jordan 11. Come on. Elijah Wan, you about to put the cheese on the burger while it's cooking? <laughs> like a red meat cooking? Would you want the cheese to be in it? You want the cheese to melt down into it. It's a hidden cheese. You might be onto something. Good thing Katina can cook that mac and cheese for you. She likes to cook too. Oh, Elijah Wan's sister-in-law. I love what Elijah Wan's friend said there because I have had many a conversation with people. Y'all, we're just gonna deal with this hair. It's gonna be lopsided. It's gonna be having that this little thing. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do, okay? It's not a piece. This is my hair. It's just, I wanted it like bang bang, but whatever. Here we are. Y'all met me, okay? <laughs> anyway, I like what his friend said because he was like, no one goes into it looking like, y'all, I'm looking for my wife. I've had this conversation with other people who are against online dating because they're like, why are you going into this with a purpose? Like, you're going to find something that's not there. Like, love should just come to you. It shouldn't be something that you seek out. 
But that doesn't work for everybody. Okay, little Elijah Moss friend, you may have been looking for one night and something came from it, but I don't knock people who are going into it like, yo, here's what I want to do. I am looking to get married. I'm looking for a girlfriend. I am looking for commitment. And if this is not what you are looking for, let's move on. I can't knock this man. He wants a wife. He wants a family. Y'all got that? He ain't got that. Sean, Elijah's brother, already wins best laugh of the whole season. <laughs> I hope Elijah laughs just like him. I was a different person. We know. Elijah, what did you do in those two years? No, for real. All right, whatever, whatever. For real. What were you actually doing for self? Because we know you were still in these streets. Casually dating. Were you playing people in the meantime? Well, Isaac, did Isaac die two years ago? Tell me what this two years really meant. Were you journaling? Did you see a therapist? What'd you do? Because right now you need more people. I don't believe you. It's graduation. And I know you'll be even more excited to see me do this. Um, he's half black and half white. Didn't I claim it? I claimed that early. Ignore the fact that I thought his name. <gasps> Maybe his dad is Nigerian. He's me biracial. He's a biracial boy. If anyone got that, stick with me in this page because we are kin. All right, let's go. Also, I was gonna. Should I not say this while you talking about his daddy who passed away? This man's very attractive in the face. That's it. I'm gonna leave it right there. Uh oh. We got another man who's looking for somebody to love him just as much as his mother loves him. And he's the baby. And he's the one who spent the most time with just his mother because his father passed away. Uh oh. Y'all know that. You gotta watch out for these men because they're comparing. No one is ever going to be better or as good as their mother. So Katina's already coming in at a disadvantage because he's looking for the love that his mother gives. This woman birthed you. She made you in her stomach. Kind of like God, before you were here, she knew you. You can't expect that from Katina. Katina just met you yesterday, all right? Let's make sure we don't compare. I wonder if that's Elijah Moss' problem right now is because he keeps comparing every woman to his mother. That or he's just a hot boy, you know. I just want to point out those paintings that Elijah Moss are putting up are paintings from Paint and Sips. I don't know about you, but men don't really go to Paint and Sips alone. They're usually from dates. Elijah Moss, are you hanging up your version of the painting from a Paint and Sip date that you had with someone else? Take that shit down. Take it down now. You know my problem. I'm worried about Elijah Wan, y'all. I'm worried that he don't know how to relationship. I'm just worried. That's real. How does, how does somebody just come out and be like, hey bros, hey friends, I want love. You know, that's not something that men, I don't think anybody just feels comfortable saying. Here we go. I knew it. Y'all, we know Elijah Wan. He the one when you get on your first date, like, hey, my name is Elijah. Like, Hi, my name is Rizzo. So, do you cook? Sir, we just got here. What's your social security number? Also, I made more than you, so get your bitch ass in the house and cook me something. You think my role is cooking and I need to take on the female roles? Thank you for giving me a reason to quit my job because you are the breadwinner and I'm the cook. Thank you. I'll be at home. <laughs> what you need me to do? You need me to do laundry? Watch me, boo. Make sure you put that check in our account. I did the wink right. Mm -hmm. I wish Katina didn't cook, but she does, so that works. He probably put that as like a non-negotiable, like number one, don't give me a woman who can't cook. But also, this man can't even grill a pre-made burger. Okay, one, I was worried that Dr. Pepper wasn't gonna be on this episode, or this season. But two, y'all better give Dr. Pepper a whole face of makeup. Yeah. Miss Side Chick No More. <laughs> y'all gave her that name. <laughs> y'all, can we not call her a Side Chick No More? She wasn't the Side Chick, or maybe she was. I don't know if anybody knew it would a side chick in that situation. I know she hates that. Katina, I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't got anything to do with that, but on behalf of production, I want to apologize to you. Oh, she was a side chick. But when you say side chick, I feel like that's like a known thing. Like she didn't know she was the side chick. Let's not put that on her, oh, Jesus. Katina and Elijah aren't gonna be good TV. Y'all, there's hookah on the table. <laughs> Katina be out. Right, here we go with Steven Noy. Guys, I want us not to compare him to Matt. And I'm talking to myself because 
This man's family is on the show. He wants to do it. He's looking for love. <sighs> I see some mat tendencies in me, but uh, devil won't let me have it. Mm -mm. I actually love that Steve did that. Who hasn't dreamt of going on a road trip and just like living out your van? I don't know if anybody dreamt of that, but like going on a road trip and seeing the country. Even though they just posted a picture of him with the, the, the wooden thing, that's from Tulum. But we're gonna ignore that. Come on, diversity. Uh-oh, we got another baby boy. Is this gonna be a thing? If someone answered, what do you do? The way that Steve just answered that. I'm immediately going to the bathroom with my cell phone and saying, y'all, this ain't got no job. And I'm saving him and my phone is Tommy. Have we established that I love Noi? I don't know if I've said that yet, but love her. Also, hello, pretty fan at the end. I see you. Yeah, I Super jump. Super jump? Super jump. Super jump. <laughs> you. Okay, let me tell you my reservations with Noi. <laughs> she wants to make love work by any means. And she is moving her entire self to be with these men. Noi, I want to make sure you don't bend for everyone just because you're looking for this love. Steve seems like he has a bit of douche in him. I want to make sure your voice is heard, okay? Don't let this man push you around. I know you're going to cry a lot too. Dang, two big criers. Katina ain't going to cry. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> we really didn't have a lot, but we had each other. My heart. Who feels like home? Who feels like my safe place where mm. I can really be Don't myself? We all. And they can be themselves. I want someone you know, I can who only feels hope like that home. I'll find someone can y'all hear that? That's a whole opera singer. What I was going to say is I feel like the good thing about Steve, he's going to get, I don't want to compare to Jeff D. But you know how it took Jeff D a while to give the flowers? I feel like Steve is going to feel like really awkward coming to give her flowers, but it's going to bring him joy and it's going to bring her joy. I can't wait for that moment. All right, the final couple is Jasmina and Michael. Y'all know we established best friends every season. Jasmine is my best friend. And I said, I was like, what? She got something in her. Cause she reminds me of my cousin. I was like, she West Indian and African. What is she? She Jamaican. That's why I see you. Damn, Michael. Miss No Nonsense. She gonna whip this boy Michael into shape. See, this is why I like her. <laughs> she did not sugarcoat that. She said, so he'd rather go out and ho. Like, no. Because they always and come back to the last person. They always want to circle. You a good woman. So once he's done hoeing, the circle back says, you know what? I'm looking for a wife now. You know who was a good wife? Jasmina. Too little, too late. I'm also tired of this. He had a baby behind my back story. Y'all got to stop this. I am a child of nine. Nine. Oh, well, it can't it can't just be from your mother. She couldn't have just pushed nine humans out of her. How do we pay women for making children? Oh, because I guess then everybody would just make children to get paid. We gotta do something for them. Oh, that's right. Her biological mom did walk out. After she and my dad got divorced, my dad moved to Jamaica. Listen, I would say 50, 60 year old Jamaican men, West Indian men, always move back. <laughs> For your hot boy summer, that's the midlife crisis. You know, American men get little, little, what's them think, Harley Davidsons, or they get sports cars. Nah, what's the name? Go back. Get your life together. <laughs> Wait a minute, Michael, where you from? Michael got a little bit of an accent too. Y'all both West Indian. Where you from, Michael? Yeah. They're gonna bond on that. Yo, everybody is losing parents this season. My goodness. That's right I was 20. He had all this death. Michael, what you look like without a beard? We like Claire. Oh, I love that. It's okay. We already love her. It's okay because we support Michael fully in this process. I love that. Michael is giving me the personality of my brother-in-law. I knew it was someone. It's my brother-in-law. I'm going to come around to like you. Michael, okay. All right. Now, I hope y'all work. Not because I got this. Just throw it in my head. But no, because you're very picky and you like things your way. You're very spoiled. That's not him. Mm. 
I need time. I need time. Compromise. Michael in this bachelor pad. My lord. All right, here we go. Our fifth and final couple, Alyssa and Chris. Alyssa with the whole face done up. Chris thinks he's so witty. And you kind of are. Oh my god. This is a genuine reaction. This is the reaction we were waiting for, y'all. We have been waiting for true reactions. They've done it in the last two seasons, but this woman was genuinely shocked. And I love that. Isn't it better this way? Okay, so now my real concern for these two, I don't think they're gonna make it. My concern is that he thinks he's wittier and cooler than he actually is. And Alyssa is out of his league. And she's like, this man corny. But well, let me see. I need to see Alyssa's full package. We'll see. He works for Compass. Okay. Oh, did you hear what he said? He said he's the kind of guy who on a Friday night at a bar sees a woman who's attractive and says, hey, do you want to date? And he winds up dating her. He's not... Isaac, where he sees an attractive woman and winds up. This man like sits there and pursues a long-term relationship with these people. Oh my goodness, y'all used to do that. Back when I was swiping in my days, I rarely went on dates because I could really tell early. I really didn't want to go on dates, but then when I started going on dates, you know, everyone loves me. And so I was like, oh, well, he likes me. He's good enough. Like I did some talking with him, why not? And then you wind up wasting. I think my, my limit was usually like nine months. <laughs> it's a long time to waste. Sometimes six or seven. Ignore that. Oh, this is my Alyssa filter. Doesn't it give you a list? No? Ryan, we found, we found your girl. Also, I need the details. There's so many gaps in these stories of men leaving or women leaving or working on yourself for two years. And like, I, I need the details because this shit don't add up. Okay, you know, see, now I'm back and forth for Shorty because she got these rings, she got the face. I think these are fillers. There's a lot happening here. She got horses. She doesn't have a real job. She just rescues animals. Okay, but then when she pours her makeup bag out, I see the Universal Drugstore Mascara. Pink bottom, green top. That's Maybelline. <laughs> you get that right up the street. I see the Beauty Blender. Again, get that right up the street. I see the NYX. I now, I don't think she's going to a beauty supply store in the hood, but that's where I get mine from. What do you, what, so you have all this money, but yet you still bargain shop. And I like it. Oh, how do you feel, mom? Did y'all see a throw hi hat? Kind of like a disc. Also, how fitting. Country, this. All I need is cowboy boots. Have so many similarities in what they're Do they, Pastor Cow? As well. Additionally, Alyssa and Chris are both very straightforward communicators. Getting to the They're ambitious people. Not a reason why you should be matched. They're passionate about their hobbies, not any shared hobbies, very different hobbies. They're great communicators and speak their mind. That can become a problem when they're both too blunt with each other. One is telling the other person about themselves, not happy. I think this is going to be an ultimate failure. There will be some tough love. I don't know if it'll be love. I think it's going to be tough. Okay, y'all, I'm going to stop it right here for part one. Also, if you do not know, we split these up into two parts because it's just way too long. <laughs> and it takes me almost double the amount of time to record and watch. So we don't do a full episode, just straight through. We'll do it in two parts. I drop one one day and then two days later, maybe three if I made a mistake, I'll drop the second part. So guys, we're gonna end this one right here. We have met all the couples, all of them individually. I have some people I like, Jasmina. I have some people I'm not sure about, Michael, Elijah Wan. I have some couples that I think are going to be great, Mark and Lindsay. The verdict is still out on Katina. Steve and Noy I like together, but I can see issues there. And Alyssa and this man, Chris, I just, I don't see this. So guys, this is the first official one of the season. Let's get to it. Tell your friends about this so they can join us and be here from the very beginning. Yo, big ups to you guys who joined mid-season. Like, welcome to a full season of this tomfoolery. I'm so excited to have y'all here. New people, I'm so excited to have you here as well. Can't wait to see you guys and see your comments about this episode. Do not argue in these comments. Y'all can disagree, but do not go at each other personally. Do not attack these people personally. Like, physical features? What are you, why? Why are you even bringing that up? For what? I will get real. 
That's one thing you're going to get from me. I'm not going to get rude and bullying, but I'm going to get real. I'm going to tell you about yourself. I'm going to have some favorites, but if you act up, I'm going to act up. So let's just be real and honest about this whole thing, y'all. But just remember that everything that I will say will be from Rizzo with love. Thank you guys so much. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Watch a video if you haven't seen one. Super excited to start this season, guys, and have you along for the journey. Thank you so much, and I will see you in a couple of days for part two. Bye, guys.